Professor Snyder, uh, one of the things that was said today also uh, about the situation in Ukraine is that Donald Trump tonight on Fox saying he could solve and end the war in Ukraine in 24 hours. Uh, I guess we can add that to the absurdities said about the situation today. Yeah, I mean, it just shows such a lack of contact with reality. Um, the, you know, the war is being fought in earnest by two sides for 15 months with tremendous casualties. It's a central event in world history. At the moment, you know, the only way that a war could be ended like this in 24 hours would be if one side would be to surrender. And Mr. Trump is not in a position to make something like that happen. You know, this is just pure, frivol pure frivolity. Uh, and what do you make of this uh nuclear noise again, uh, this time involving Belarus? I mean, first of all, we should just recall that, um, that Alexander Lukashenko is a dictator who was crushed in the last presidential election and is now holding on to power only with the help of the, the Putin regime in Russia. So the things that he says reflect, you know, the same kind of nuclear bluster that Russia has been using from the beginning of the war. It's very important to distinguish the bluster from the actual chances of war. They just they hope that with the bluster, we will not do the things that we need to do to help the Ukrainians win the war. It's just it's just a kind of last ditch effort to try to prevent Ukraine from winning. And if anything, you know, if I were Russia or Belarus, I'd be avoiding this topic right now because the the, the, the Kinjal missiles, which Ukraine is now shooting down are also Russia's nuclear delivery vehicles. And, it, and there's also a scandal inside Russia now having to do with their early warning detection systems. So in, in drawing attention to the nuclear subject, they're actually drawing attention at this point, not so much to one of their strengths as to one of their weaknesses. So it might be time for them to move on. Uh, I want to uh, let you hear the exact words that Donald Trump used tonight, because people in Iowa believe this. R Trump supporters in Iowa believe what Donald Trump is saying when he said this. Let's listen to this. I will get them into a room and they will, and I know an exact way. Number one, you tell one, you're not going to get anything unless you make a deal. You tell the other one, they're going to get a lot unless you make a deal. And you just sit them and you put them in, and you have to make a determination. And within, I'm telling you, within 24 hours, that whole thing will be settled. It'll be settled. I know it sounds like he's talking about members of Congress. He's talking about Russia and Ukraine. Yeah, I mean, the second, the second thing there is that we have to remember that Mr. Trump, in, in his entire political career, basically since 2016, has been a kind of client of Mr. Putin. So the idea that he could get Putin to do something is curious. Um, you know, Putin can get him to do things, but the idea that he can get Putin to do something is, is curious. The Russians, if you follow them and their media, they are very much hoping that, that Trump wins this war, that, uh, wins this election. That's their, that's their Hail Mary. Their hope is that Trump or DeSantis, but, but mostly Trump, wins this war. And, and when Trump talks like that, when he makes this war this kind of unreality, he's basically, and this is what Americans, I think, should understand, he's making the war last longer. You know, if you don't take the position that Ukraine should win and we should help them, you're giving the Russians hope and you're extending the war out to November 24, January 25. That's what Trump is actually doing now.